All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel, coming back with another video, giving all honor and glory to the Most High Yahweh, which the world calls God, and Yahweh Shai, which the world calls Jesus Christ. And Slock here for the first video I put up, it didn't have any sound. I didn't realize until it's been up for like five minutes, but the topic is, you know, China's coronavirus could have same death rate as Spanish flu pandemic that killed 50 million people, man. Right. And this is prophesied in the Bible that these pestilence will be put forth into the earth, man. Right. The Lord is visiting this earth and whether y'all acknowledging or not, it's happening, man. Y'all got to deal with it. A lot of these pestilence and these plagues that's going to come upon the earth is actually going to affect you physically. Right. Personally. Right. And you're going to have to deal with it. Right. You're not going to escape. The judgment of the Heavenly Father, if you're not keeping the law, statutes, and the commandments, right? Didn't he say all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness? Right, let's get that precept. Uh, 2nd Ezra 15 and verse 14. Slacky. Bear with me, Israel. Bear with me. Slock you. Slock you. Slock you. Bear with me, Israel. Slock you. Slock you. Huh, see, I don't see Google in you. Oh, 15 and 4, slack you. So, second Ezra is 15 and verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. So, if you're not faithful to the Heavenly Father, you can't expect to make it to the kingdom, man. You will be a beggar and you will be, you know, you'll be that man asking for handouts, man. The Lord ain't giving out handouts, right? You had that grace period, but He's not handing out nothing no more. Right? It's time for wrath and destruction, man. Right? Let's get um Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. And as you can see, this pestilence is the pestilence like is being put forth in the earth, man. Right? In the you know, the energy of war is out there, right, with these other nations where Iran and America, right? And great evil is coming, man. Jacob's trouble, right? Sedition among men, right? People fleeing into the mountains, eating their own flesh. People dying of famine, a pestilence. That's evils, man. And y'all going to have to deal with that in these last days if you're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, right? Let's get Matthew 24 and verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places, right? Pestilences out there in China, right? It's even in here. It's here in America, man, right? Earthquakes in Puerto Rico. Ain't Puerto Rico getting smacked with earthquakes right now, right? Famines all over the world, man, right? So you, you already know that the beginning of sorrows is here, man. Right. So you got to understand that you got to keep the commandments. Right. Right. And you got to watch. Right. The most High said to watch. Right. You can't be a man in this truth and, you know, call yourself a man of the Lord and you're not watching and seeing what's going on and declaring it and going back in the scriptures and reading and seeing what's going on. Right. Didn't the Lord say in Isaiah uh, 34. Hold on. Bear with me. Oh my gosh. Slack is. <laughs> Isaiah 34 and verse 16. Right? He says, Seek ye, he says, Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read, man. No one of these shall fail. Right? So you got to seek out of the book of the Lord and read, man. Right? You got to see what's going on. You got to read the prophecies of old and compare it to now. Because the Lord don't change, man. He's not going to prophesy in the 
Old Testament, you know, the world's going to die. Uh, well, not the world's going to die, but the world's going to be destroyed, right? Wars are going to be coming on this earth. Pestilence, famine, right? Plagues. And then change it up in the New Testament, right? Didn't he say, I'm the Lord thy God, I change not? Power phrasing, right? And Malachi. Malachi 3 and verse 6. Right. He says, for I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the Lord is not going to change Israel when he says that he's coming back. And he's coming back um, via these chariots, man. And before that, Jacob's trouble is going to happen. Pestilence, famine, plagues, man, war. Right. All out madness is going to happen. He's not joking around when he says this, man. Right. And you see these pest pestilences is out there. Right. For example, right now, the um, coronavirus, right, that we're talking about right now, right, that's going to destroy people. People are going to be destroyed and overtaken, be overtaken by that, right? Let's get 2 Ezra's, 2 Ezra's 9 and verse 22. Bear with me. Right, second Ezra 9 and verse 22. Let the multitude perish then which was born in vain and let my great be kept and my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. Right. So to sum it up, the multitude that's born in vain is the two thirds that's not keeping the commandments and the heathen nations. man. And that grape is the hundred and forty four thousand. Right. So if you're not keeping these commandments and coming back to dust, said the Lord, you might be taken by these pestilence. Right. You might be taken by the sword, famine, right, disease. Right. Who knows how you're going to go. Right. But as we read here, this can take out 50 million people. You can easily be a part of that 50 million, man. Don't think you too sweet. Don't you know, Jake, Jake walk around in a Louis Vuitton and a Gucci and think they too sweet to catch a pestilence, man. They too sweet to catch a cold, man. Well, that's not the case here, man. 50 million, that's a large number, and you can easily be a part of that, man. Right? So you got to watch, right? Let's go back to that. Second Ezra's, Second Ezra's 9. Right? The Lord said to watch, man. You can't just be walking around and just doing whatever. Second Ezra 9 and 1, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right. And we see these signs, man. Right. I'll read on. Verse three, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, thou shalt well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end and the end is manifest so the end is manifest man right when you go back to Mac matthew uh 24 he goes into detail and tells you that these things these signs that you're seeing happening right now before your face is the beginning of sorrows man you need to repent and keep the commandments or you're going to be a part of that perish, that multitude that perishes, man. Right. Everyone says they don't want to die, but nobody want to keep the commandments. So obviously you do want to die. Didn't he say the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Right. Power phrasing. Right. So you got to watch. Keep the commandments. Right. Because the Lord, he's coming like a thief in the night, man. He's just going to come and just, whew, you gone. You done. Right? Let's get that. Um, Second Peter. Socket bear with me. Second Peter 3 and verse 10. Right? And it says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also in the works that are therein shall be burnt up, man. Right? So you gotta you gotta watch and learn and see what's happening, man. Because the Lord's gonna come like a thief in the night. 
right? And there's brothers out there that's sitting there, you know, I'm not going to watch. I'm going to just let it happen, you know? Whatever happens, happens. I'm going to go with it. You know, I'm going to go with the flow type of guy. You know, I go where the wind blink brings me, man. Right? You living like that is the reason why brothers like me and other brothers that's trying to keep the commandments is in the land of their captivity. Because you so go with the flow, man. Following these other nations and following people into destruction, man. Right? You need to, you need to be mindful of what's going on. The Lord said they will, you know, they won't be mindful of the scourges. I forget the preset. Let me look it up. I believe it's Second Ezra's con, Second Ezra sixteen and twenty. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges, man. So, brothers, even with these things happening, they will not turn away from their wickedness, man. They want to stay in sin and, and folly and, and you know, partake in the lust of this world, man. Right? Let me get another precept. Psalms 10 and 4. Saki, let me get the KJV. Right? And it says, The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. So even with all these things happening, people still not thinking about the Lord. They think about, damn, I'm about to die. Am I really about to die? They're not thinking, oh, the Lord coming back. I got to repent or I'm going to perish. You know, they worrying about staying in the world and doing and, and fulfilling the flesh, man. Right. But, you know, the prophets of the most high, the brothers and sisters that's teach well, not sisters, Slakia, but the brothers that's out there teaching this word, man. They're not going to tell you that, you know. You know, if you just sit down and play the Xbox for so-and-so time and, you know, just just be oblivious to what's going on, you still going to get the kingdom. No, man, we telling you that we telling you thus saith the Lord. If you're not watching and you're not keeping the commandments, man, you're going to be destroyed and you're going to be taken away easily, man. You're going to be taken out of the way, man, without, you know, with the blink of an eye, with the blink of an eye, man. All right. The Lord said you're going to come as a thief in the night. Brothers don't know when thieves is about to come in their house, man. If they knew, they'd plan for it, right? But, you know, the brothers that's uh, keeping the commandments and understanding the times that they're in, we actually preparing for that thief coming, man. We actually trying to gird ourselves up. You know, we got we got the bat sitting by the door, right? We nailing up the windows, right? We closing up the patches, man. We getting ready for the Lord, man. Most high willing, we ready, right? And if brothers is not telling you this, they telling you folly and madness, man. They preaching wickedness. All right? Let's get Isaiah. Isaiah 8 and verse 20. And it says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Right? So if they're not telling you that if you're not girded up and you're not you know, being mindful, these pestilence might overtake you, man. You might be a part of that 50 million that's taken out, taken out the way by that um, corona uh, virus, man. Right. So that being said, I'm going to give all honor and glory to the most high Yahweh, which the world calls God and Yahweh Shai, which the world calls Jesus Christ. Shalom.